with Slow News Day, the reason the scenes were, the deleted scenes were deleted, you, you know, they were deleted for the same two reasons that most scenes are deleted on the show. And the first reason is that the show's running too long because our shows have to run at 41 and a half minutes or something like that. And if it gets too long, they can't show the commercials they want to show. So we have to cut things out. And um, Slow News Day was a long episode and we had to cut some scenes out. The second reason is that in trying to execute these political stories, you will sort of repeat a, a, a specific part of a, a specific narrative point in, in the political storyline to make sure people are getting it. And um, whether we're always smart to do this, sometimes we feel that a point's being repeated once to, one too many times um, and we'll remove that moment or even that scene. I need you to meet with the policy wonks. Make sure we have new policies to announce all week. Take Prince Leotard. He'll put a chest on his hair. You know what they'll say. What will they say? That they don't make policy to fit the news cycle and have I been drinking out of the Potomac. And what will you say? That they're a bunch of bifocal bureaucrats, and if they cough up the goods, you'll be there by Friday. I like your spunk. Is this punishment for the hair and makeup caucus? You bet your broom handle. I'm going to start bearing my midriff. So it's a win-win proposition? You're saying this meeting is doomed from the start? I'm saying the policy people and the political people hate each other. And we are? The political people. What's the difference? They want to win elections so we could do good things. They want to do good things as if that'll win elections. Why don't they want us to announce the good policies they're coming up with? They're hoarding them till they can forge their slide rolls and the weapons and take over the building. So, it's a reasoned debate. You left us with a slow news day. Josh wants four new things to announce so it doesn't become a slow news millennium. We don't have anything new. You should highlight the good things the government's already doing. You're right. Wait till people find out there's a post office. You'd start another one if it'd get you on the 7 o'clock news. So you're giving us nothing? Finally, we understand each other. We'll be hearing from the deputy chief of staff. Possibly the postmaster general. Hang on a minute. Good government, good politics. We're all just trying to do something good, right? Please. You know, brown really suits you guys. What's this? New policy announcements for the rest of the month. Child support enforcement, any crime prosecutors. We've been after that for months. Gender discrimination in dry cleaning. Okay, that's pretty weird. They do charge more for women's shirts than for men's. How'd you get the policy wonks to fork over all this stuff? This is like a mini State of the Union. I told them we all work for the same guy. Let's end the rivalries, the backbiting, the second guessing. Let's work for the American people for a change. That's, <laughs> that's amazing, Ryan. I uh, then put it in an administrative context. How so? I said you'd fire them if they didn't come up with five things apiece. You can keep holding these meetings if you want. Hey, where are you then? How are you? Thank you, Josh. The girl could have lost her job, and I'm not Agent 99, and granted she didn't have much of a wardrobe to maintain, but she should... What's wrong? Nothing's wrong with me. It's between you and Toby. Get in the room and figure it out. 